Hey guys, this is Patrick Powers. This video is for Application Development uh, 1 for the January class of 2013, and this is week 2 where we have begun the development of our application um, and going over Milestone 1. Um, on the right hand side you'll see actually my splash page. Um, I only pulled that up within a PNG kind of file first because when I click on the icon it's so quick to load that it doesn't even show the splash page unless you're loading straight from uh, Xcode when it first initially builds. So what happens is um, once you get into the application there's going to be a list of bars. For the purpose of this first milestone what I really wanted to do was build the backbone meaning build the tabs out, um, build the uh, navigation so when you click on in any particular uh, bar which is just the one static one it'll dive deeper down and really just placing a lot of the stuff in the appropriate spots so that once I go back in week two to really start working on the dynamic side of things and some of the additional features I can really start moving on that so um, going through my milestone I was able to actually complete everything that I've tasked myself with for this first week I think my next week is definitely be very challenging um, but I'm very happy to where I am at this moment in time. Um, going through one by one, I created a startup screen, again, this one, the splash page, uh, as well as an icon, which you saw uh, in the front as well, right here, called Orlando Drinks. Um, then what I did is I created UI tab bar, creating two tab bars, bars and reviews. This is one thing, actually, if you kind of go down to uh, milestone features that I've changed, it's not so much that I changed any of these particular sections here, but I'm trying to figure out the best way to incorporate all the features we need for the project's uh, requirements into the, the application so that I can make sure that I get the best grade possible. And I felt actually having an email tab would also be good rather than trying to build that within some other portion of the application. So I did add that, um, but I was able to set up the tabs appropriately. Um, create two UI table views for bars and reviews and there we do I have this one and then I do have this one as well create custom cells for the table bar table view and a custom cell for the review table view um, which again once again I did I, I have an icon I have the name of the, the bar I have the location and I have how far away it is this is going to be something that's going to be challenging for me right here um, and then over here, this is the reviews. It's kind of like a blog post, essentially. And I have an icon again, the title, and then I have uh, some excerpt text from the particular uh, review. Um, I then created a nav bar. So I do have that nav bar. Obviously, you can see as it goes deeper down, either one of the table views, it has that nav bar. Clicking on the table view cell drills down, which obviously you can see that's what that does. And then what I really wanted to do is I wanted to figure out the detail view and put things in place. So you're going to see it's going to map out with an annotation of where the location of that bar is with the address. And here's going to be some text about that bar. Not necessarily a review um, as to what's good or what's bad, but just kind of what it is, what it offers, the style and what people can expect from it. Um, also, you can call the bar directly or visit their website with these, these buttons. Um, then for the review, it's pretty simple. You have the review title, when it was created, the person who created it, and then the text. And this is going to be a UI text view that you can scroll around and actually read additional information about the bar. Um, again, this was a little bit of addition, but it does kind of go within the creating uh, what it's going to look like. So my idea was we want to hear from you as a user. Um, do you have any favorite bars that need to be added to the bar uh, or a bar that you would like to have reviewed? Please email us and let us know. So this will actually be a button that opens up the ability to email directly to uh, Orlando Drinks, myself, so that I can create that review, add that bar, do the necessary things to make sure that I'm keeping my users happy and you know providing them what they actually want. So that's really my application in a quick overview for this perfect or this first week. 
Um, again, I did complete the 10 tasks that I tasked myself with. I'm not going to say I didn't actually have any issues. I did run across some. Um, and it was really just in creating uh, different classes, deleting classes. The references of those classes seemed to still exist within Xcode. And when I was building, it was there was a reference error or like a key value error. So it, it was a little bit of a difficulty and troublesome. I ha hit that roadblock. I had to start over. But I came to an end result where I'm currently happy to where I am. And I can definitely say that next week is going to be very challenging. I put a lot of work into the next week. Um, so I will see you then. Thanks so much.